also known as Nikki Vegan, and in today's video, we are gonna be making the best ever vegan pumpkin muffins. Now, I know that seems like a really big claim, but I've worked so hard on this recipe because one of my favorite recipes that I've ever developed is my pumpkin bread recipe. But if you've ever had pumpkin bread or banana bread or zucchini bread, you know that even though they're called bread, they're a lot more like cake, and they have that really great, dense, sweet, cake-like thing going on and a muffin while similar is quite different in my opinion a muffin should be light and fluffy it should have that domed top and then the kind of softer bottom part of the muffin and I just feel like I really really put a lot of what I know about vegan baking and baking science into reverse engineering this recipe because I wanted it to taste like delicious flavorful fall pumpkin bread, but I also wanted it to be a muffin and not just a small little cake. And I really feel like I was able to do that in a recipe that is very easy to make and perfect for this time of year. Oh, before we get started, I should tell you, you might want to stay tuned until the end. I'm not going to say anything else, but you might want to stay tuned until the end. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start out by using some canned pumpkin and when I'm in the store, I just flip the can around and make sure that the only ingredient inside is pumpkin and that's how I know it's the perfect one to use. So I'm just gonna add that to a bowl along with some melted coconut oil and some soy milk. Then for a touch of sweetness, I'm gonna do a combination of regular cane sugar and also some light brown sugar. This combination is really great because it adds a depth of flavor, but also brown sugar has a little bit of acidity to it, and that acidity is super important because it's going to interact with the leavening agents like the baking powder and create some nice lift, which means that we don't have to use eggs in these muffins. For that same reason, I'm also gonna be using a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and don't worry, they 100% will not taste anything like vinegar, but this is just that little background secret science ingredient that has a really amazing effect on the texture, but not the flavor. Speaking of flavor, I'm also gonna add some fresh ginger because it complements the pumpkin and the spices so nicely. And then I'm gonna beat this until it is well combined and fluffy. This is the stage of the mixing process that you really wanna beat the mixture until it is light and fluffy, but you don't wanna overmix it later on once you add the dry ingredients. And you may notice that if you're using coconut oil and you used cold soy milk, that it will kind of seize up and get a little bit lumpy. Don't worry about that. Just mix and set aside. Now for the dry ingredients, I went ahead and I mixed together some flour, baking powder, baking soda, and then those great fall baking spices like cinnamon and nutmeg. I also added a little bit of salt just to kind of balance out all of the flavors and really make them shine. And then I added that to the wet ingredients. And then part of the reason I love these muffins so much is because I use these mini vegan chocolate chips from Enjoy Life and you get the perfect amount of creamy chocolatiness in every bite. Then I bake this for five minutes at 425 degrees and then lower the heat to 350 and bake for 15 more minutes. Once they have puffed up and they're golden brown on top, they are ready to serve. And at this point, your kitchen is going to smell incredible. This is honestly one of my favorite parts about making muffins. They are just such a cozy treat and they're really, really easy to make. They have that, you know, very distinct muffin bottom and then that muffin top is a totally different texture and the inside is light and fluffy and airy. And I really love the combination of spices here because nothing is overpowering. It's not too spicy. I think sometimes pumpkin recipes can be really intense. This is all very cohesive, very delicate, and just delightful. I hope you'll enjoy one of these warm with some vegan butter or some almond butter spread on top and maybe a cup of tea or coffee. It is just so cozy and perfect for this time of year. Mm. These are so good. I am just crazy, crazy, crazy about this texture and I really love the fact that the salt kind of balances out the sweetness and really kind of makes them taste buttery and rich. And I also really like that they're just kind of like 
flecked with little bits of the chocolate chips and that's why I like using the little mini chocolate chips because you get a tiny little bit of a creamy chocolatiness in every bite. For those of you who were kind enough to watch until the end of the video, I wanted to do a little something special for you guys and so I'm going to be giving away three bags of these Enjoy Life mini chocolate chips. I bought them with my own money, this is not sponsored, but these are the chocolate chips that I love using and baking all the time and especially to make these muffins, I think they are perfect. So all the details for the giveaway are in the description box below. Essentially, you just have to be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment below and I will let you know personally if you are the winner and I will send these to you so you can do some fall and holiday baking. So thank you guys for watching until the end of this video if you're still here and make sure you continue to watch all of my future videos until the end because from now until the end of the year, I'm going to be randomly doing these super secret giveaways for those of you who are like the true loyal super fans who watch all the way until the end. It really does help my channel out so much and I try to make sure that these videos are packed with value and information from start to finish so it means so much to me that you guys are here. This one happens to be a food item but I have some appliances, I have some home products, some cleaning products, a lot of favorite things that I love and use all the time I'm going to be purchasing and giving to you guys as a thank you. So I will see you in a video very soon. Bye! Mm.